Welcome back fish lovers, I'm JR from JR Aquariums and today we're gonna go over the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is the number one cause of death of our fish. We're gonna go over different elements such as ammonia, nitrites and nitrates. I'm gonna explain everything real in depth so you understand better how the cycle works. And this video starts now. Here we have a glass of water representing our fish tank. But before we go over it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notification every time we upload a new video. So here I'm gonna use this glass with water, I'm gonna use these blocks to represent each element. Each color represents one of the elements such as ammonia, nitrates, and nitrites. So first, we're gonna go over the yellow blocks will we represent ammonia. Ammonia is really toxic to fish. It's one of the number one cause of death of the fish. The ammonia spike because on eating food, fish poop, and all waste that the fish produce turns into ammonia, and this is really toxic to our fish. Here we have the red blocks, which represent nitrites, but first, let's go over the blue ones. Blue blocks will represent beneficial bacteria. That beneficial bacteria that we need in our tank to transform or to oxidize each element such as ammonia into nitrites or nitrites into nitrates. So this is why it's really important that we have the beneficial bacteria. The red blocks represent nitrites. Nitrites used to be Ammonia, but thanks to the superhero, the beneficial bacteria turns the ammonia into nitrites. But nitrites are also toxic to your fish. It will kill your fish. The green blocks represent nitrates. Nitrate is the last step of the nitrogen cycle. It means the nitrites are turned into nitrates thanks to the beneficial bacteria. Nitrites means that your tank is already cycled, but it is also toxic to your fish, but this we can remove it from the fish tank. Now that we know how each element works, let me show you guys how the nitrogen cycle works. So here we have this jar with water representing our fish tank. The yellow blocks represent ammonia. Every time we feed, they poop or any waste that it becomes in the water turns into ammonia. That's why I'm adding here the yellow blocks representing ammonia. And now here's where you call the superhero, the beneficial bacteria. The beneficial bacteria is going to turn that ammonia into nitrites. So I'm going to remove the yellow blocks and I'm going to use the red blocks representing the nitrites. Remember, beneficial bacteria turn them into nitrites. Then again, the beneficial bacteria will turn these nitrites, it will be turned into nitrates, which we're gonna use the green blocks to represent the nitrates. That's why I'm gonna remove all these red blocks because this is the beneficial bacteria turning them into nitrates. That's why I'm going to add now the green blocks. Nitrates, we can control them with, when, with water change and plants. But when you have nitrates, this means that your tank is cycle. So with water changes here, let's say that we're going to do a 50% water change. So we're going to remove half of the nitrates. That's why I'm removing two blocks out of four because it's a 50%. But keep in mind that you also remove beneficial bacteria. Not a lot because not a lot leaves in the water column, but still. Then I'm going to add that clean water to top of my tank. But I will still have some nitrates on my tank. That's why you can use other methods. And the number one I like to, to do and I prefer is adding live plants. Live plants will eat or will feed off the nitrates. 
That's why it's so important the beneficial bacteria and the cycle is good so the plants can have some nitrates for, em for them to eat and get that nutrition from those nitrates. Remember, only with live plants. So live plants only, there's the one who will eat the nitrates. So here, now we're representing that brand new fish tank that we, we just bought brand new out of the store and fill it up with water. So what happened if you go and add fish into it? Let's say you add one or you add two, three maybe fish, but it's no bacteria present, right? So the fish, they're gonna keep eating, they're gonna keep pooping and producing all the ways that they do plus the food but we are missing the beneficial bacteria we do not have it on our fish tank so that way is going to keep raising 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 maybe some beneficial bacteria start growing but by the time that the bacteria start growing the ammonia nitrates nitrates everything is going to be way too high and it will kill them then you will lose all your fish by this point that's why it's so important to us and to um, inform you that the cycle before you add fish the nitrogen cycle is one of the most important things because when you introduce your fish into the fish tank they already will be there ready for your fish i will do in a video explaining how you can boost and how you can get more beneficial bacteria in less time and not harmful to your fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. To don't miss any other information, please make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, that way anytime I upload a new video, you will get that notification and you won't miss it. Thank you for being here and supporting this channel. See you in the next one.